In the last video, Yaku explored what happens when creative software meets absurd amounts of CPU power. But behind every CPU is the unsung hero that holds it all together, the motherboard. I recently picked up the Gigabyte X870E Aorus Elite X3D and sourced the Gigabyte TRX50 Aero D for Yaku's testing. But before we dive in, huge thanks to Thermal Grizzly for sponsoring this part of the project. We use the Hydronaut thermal paste on both systems. It's perfect for high-end sustained workloads. It keeps temperatures down and stabilizes results and gives us cleaner performance data. You can check them out at vanguardpc.co.za. The X870E Aorus Elite X3D has become my go-to for testing and benchmarking. It's a rock-solid gaming and performance board, great VRM design, 8-layer PCB, and support for four DIMMs up to 9,000 megatransfers per second, and a ton of high-speed storage options with dual PCIe 5 M.2 slots. For me, consistency is key. I'm constantly running repeated benchmarks, stress tests, and real-world comparisons. This board handles all of that without breaking a sweat. My needs are a bit different. I spend most of my time in software that demands stability over long sessions, sometimes 12-hour sculpting days or overnight renders. That's where the Aero D shines. Jumping from AM5 to the Threadripper platform, you also gain double the memory bandwidth with support for quad-channel memory. It's not about flashy RGB or gimmicks, it's about capacity. Support for up to one terabyte of RAM, multiple Gen 5 NVMe drives, three full 16X PCIe slots for GPUs or accelerators, 10 gigabit LAN and Wi-Fi 7. It's built for creators, not overclockers. When I'm in Houdini running a fluid sim or baking high-res textures, that kind of system architecture makes all the difference. The Aero D lets me stay immersed. I can make a change, hit render, and see results without losing rhythm. And the aesthetics matches how I like to work. Clean, minimal, and distraction-free. It's a creator's tool, not a gamer's toy. And that's what interested me about this project. Same brand, same generation, but completely different priorities. My system is built for short, intense benchmarking runs and gaming workloads, where Yaku's is built for creative endurance and scalability. Exactly. The TRX50 platform isn't for everyone. It's larger, hungrier, and costlier. But if your projects are complex or long-term, if you're rendering all day or simulating heavy assets, it's worth it. It's not just about speed. It's about stability over time. Ultimately, choosing a motherboard isn't about max spec. It's about purpose. It's about knowing what you actually do every day and building for that. And both of these boards the Aorus Elite X3D and Aero D deliver power where it matters most.